The dinosaurs vanished in the fifth mass extinction 65 and a half million years ago. Is the sixth mass extinction already underway? That's the conclusion the United Nations would like you to reach. The Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, or IPBES, formed by the United Nations in 2012, claims that nature is declining globally at rates unprecedented in human history, and the rate of species extinctions is accelerating. At the heart of their argument is this graph, created to support their dire warning. But they must resort to math tricks to force the graph to conform to their narrative. By using one data point per century and adding the total number of extinctions for each century onto the next, the graph displays the sum of all extinctions instead of the trend of extinctions. A casual observer would be led to believe that extinctions are accelerating. However, if you look at all available data, decade by decade, you see that extinctions peaked right around the start of the 20th century and have been in significant decline ever since. We are currently at near record lows, with only about two species vanishing per year. Although species have been going extinct for millions of years, hyping extinctions is just another in a long line of marketing gimmicks to force adoption of a radical environmental agenda and the push for net zero. Today's children will likely see thousands of animals disappear in their lifetime. From lizards to koalas, it could be part of the continuing fallout from the climate change crisis. According to the ominous IPBES report, the loss of habitat is the greatest threat to endangered species. But the so-called green solution is destroying vast areas of grassland, farmland, and forests. Already, industrial wind and solar installations in the United States occupy over 24,000 square miles of land, which is roughly the size of West Virginia. In addition, wind and solar energy requires open pit mining of massive amounts of rare earth minerals, in many cases using child and slave labor. And they require a massive expansion of transmission lines, which also displace wildlife. Wind turbines kill thousands of birds, bats, and insects each year, and offshore wind projects are a threat to whales, dolphins, and other sea life. Radical green environmental policies are killing the environment and endangering the habitats of species they claim to be protecting. The scientific method proves that the sixth mass extinction is nothing more than science fiction, but it could come true if we continue to pursue the perilous policies of net zero. The experts at the CO2 Coalition are endangering the propaganda of the green agenda by preserving a true scientific approach to the climate. Visit their website today.